The relationship between Zelensky and Zaluzny is terrible. The conflict has moved into the open. The conflict in the military political leadership of Ukraine was the predictable result of a counter-offensive operation that did not go according to plan. This is stated in the material of The Economist. According to the publication, at the beginning of a full-scale invasion of the Russian Federation in February 2022, the competitor policy went into hibernation, but it returned when the threat decreased at the end of that year. The Economist writes that cracks appeared not only on political lines, but also between military and political leadership. The relationship between President Volodymyr Zelensky and his commander-in-chief, Valery Zaluzny, is considered terrible. For the first time, the differences in their views became known last summer. A recent frank interview with The Economist with the General, in which he stated that the war in Ukraine had reached a dead end, brought this conflict into the open. Zelensky publicly reproached Zaluzny for the war headings. In a later interview, he seems to have warned Zaluzny to deal with military affairs and not politics, the newspaper notes. A senior government source in The Economist suggests that open conflict in the leadership was the predictable result of a counter-offensive operation that did not go according to the plan. The official says Zaluzny may have acted unwisely, contradicting his president's more optimistic public position, but few in the government could argue with his sober conclusions. Now the search continues as to who is to blame for the failure. Politicians say that their generals are idols trained in the Soviet Union. And the generals say that politicians are fools who bother them. Victory has many parents, but no one wants to be the father of hopelessness. The authors of the material added 